welcome back to the Locked In channel. This video is all about heartbreak. How to deal with it, how to get over it, how to just, yeah, yeah. And you know I'm quite raw with things. I haven't written anything down, I haven't researched anything. I'm just talking from the heart, so hope you enjoy. Stay locked in and subscribe. I'm not gonna have it. I'm not gonna have it, no, you're not. You're... Yeah, I'm gonna cross my arms again. You're not going until you subscribe. You owe it to me, like, you know, we're like this. Me and you, we like this, baby. Okay, but yeah. That's all I got in the end, that's what I found out And there ain't no need to cry, I took a vow And from now on, I'ma be my own best friend Me, myself, and I, that's all I got in the end Stop, it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it, stop it, right now, okay? That's it, cut the music, yeah? Put the ice cream down. If you found this video, it's probably because you're either going through a breakup, gone through a broke up, broke up, gone through a breakup, and now we're just feeling like crap. Yeah, that's the best way for me to say it and put it. And have I been there? Yes, I've been there. Many, many of times I've been there. Like I told you guys before, if you haven't seen, go watch the video, probably link up there. Um, yeah, I kiss so so many so many frogs yeah and um i keep looking over there sorry guys yeah i kiss so many frogs and yeah I, it just i don't know like the hardest thing about breaking up with someone is just feeling like you're never gonna find anyone better feeling like they're the be and the end all they're the one that well, i don't know like I just feel like I've been in so many situations this week alone where a girl's been like, yeah, but you don't understand. Like, no one treats me like him. And I'll be like, how does he treat you? And it's like, but he's so encouraging. You know, he makes me feel so beautiful. Okay, why does he make you? Because he tells me I'm beautiful. Okay. Another scenario. Yeah, but you don't understand. Like, anytime I've needed anything, whether it be money, whether it be, he's always there for me. Okay. So what that's kind of making me understand and me realize is that people are being in relationships because those relationships somehow fill a void and complete them in some kind of way first and foremost let me start with saying this a relationship is never supposed to complete you just compliment you yeah if you're not whole on the inside i'm not saying where any of us are going to be perfect i'm not perfect i still have things that i can work on but if you don't feel whole in yourself and you're looking for someone to fill the void they'll never be able to completely fill the void that's the first thing i'm going to say the second thing i'm going to say is i promise you if someone is not supposed to be in your life no matter how painful no matter how sad you feel no matter like some of you are probably in bed watching this like feeling like the world has like ended no matter how you feel right now you will i promise look cassandra loco promises you that you'll get over it why i promise you that is because there's so many relationships that i've been in and i've got over it like literally i felt like i'm never gonna find someone nicer i'm never gonna find someone kinder i'm never gonna find someone this or that or then whatever but i promise you if that person is not for you your greater is yet to come all right i'm gonna encourage you guys one thing that i feel like a lot of times happens is we focus on our yesterday it's like but i'm not gonna get any better than my yesterday your greater is yet to come you're only gonna get better. Like your great art is yet to come, I promise you. Um, what else? Like thinking about breakups and certain ways that I feel and how I got over it. Um, it was hard. I can't lie to you. I can't I can't act like getting out of a you know, like it's so much easier said than done. You know, like I, I had sleepless nights, I had I had anxiety. There was times where I even felt like I was going crazy because I was so used to being 
with this person or that person and to now have them not be there was so difficult and I actually leaned on them for me to feel like I was any type of you know worthy or good enough yeah but one thing that used to really help me um, is just focusing on things that I love doing and things that I can do outside of being in a relationship and I kind of do you know what this is gonna sound crazy and I heard TD Jake say the other day I literally dated myself like I did I was like you know what like and I'm not talking about the first week the first week was difficult the first week is still sending the texts that's okay I always tell people yeah you're gonna send a text or two yeah you're probably gonna do the drunken phone calls I've done those yeah no need to be getting drunk but I've done the drunken phone calls yeah you're gonna do the attention seeking things yeah you're gonna stalk his Instagram yeah you might even stalk his Facebook yeah you might even go outside his house yep I know there's some of you that do that I follow some friends that do some things yeah but all I'm saying to you is that you're just going through something and you're gonna get over it so it might not feel like it right now but anything that is not supposed to be for you it means that God has got a bigger plan for you simple like I, I talk to people about this all the time I'm like if the, that like I remember when there was a time when I was going through the stuff with Carlton and we'd be together and then things will happen and then you know we wasn't quite sure if this is what God wanted for our lives etc etc but I remember being like one day and being like you know what I let this go and I'm showing you my hands I was like if I'm holding on so tightly to something which was car at the time how is God gonna be able to like try and put something in these hands there's nothing that can go in these hands but if I open my hands and say you know what I let go I surrender I've lifted my hands up and said you know what? I can't do this anymore then you know God's able to place whatever he needs to place in my hands and I remember being like all right if God reading it I can't remember what scripture it was I probably placed it below but it was like if this is if this is not the plan for my life that means God has greater wow and being like well if there's going to be greater than Carl I can deal with that and it was hard but that's where like it's like I, I started finding hope in scriptures yeah and I know not everyone on my, that follows me that watches my channel is a believer but I am a believer so I can only tell you the way I went through things you might read affirmations you might read something positive but I realized that if this is not what is for me then God's gonna give me something even better Um. also all right like I said the the, the sad music do away with that do away with all the sad music do away with the eating the ice cream in bed literally as much as you feel like you don't want to get up you don't want to get dressed you don't get up and get dressed yeah don't ever make anyone make you feel like you're not good enough and you're not worthy that at the end of the relationship that's often how you feel get up get dressed do your hair do your makeup wear your best outfit and go and do something with yourself go and be around friends be around family be around people that do you know what it is be around people that make you laugh literally be around people that literally make you laugh and the more you laugh and the more you forget about your situation that you're going through it gets easier and the distant you know like it's, it's so like I feel like I don't know I was reading something I think um I remember I used to read up on literally how to get up over a breakup because I felt like it was almost impossible and it's like there's something like endorphins or something that's set off when you're in love and blah 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 and that's why it's so hard to get over a breakup and blah 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 but with Christ there is nothing that is impossible I felt like when I was in the relationship with a girl I felt like honestly my world my world had crumbled I told you guys I tried to take my own life there's so many things that I did and now looking back and looking back on everything that I went through I realized how much how blind I was and that's what I, right now you are blinded by love you are blinded and it might not even be love that's the thing you are blinded by the situation that you was once in but I promise you if you can just and I always look if you could just hold on yeah hold on to your faith hold on to the fact that your today how you feel right now is not how you're gonna feel tomorrow next week next year and maybe 10 years from now and if you're putting up with certain things like I, I speak to girls and they're putting that with I don't know um, that it's debatable okay there's so much like 
your threshold and my threshold are two different things. It's so debatable. But if you're putting up with certain things and you know that you shouldn't be treated the way you're being treated and he's doing certain things and it's affecting your mood, he's, he doesn't make you feel good about yourself, he puts you down, he makes you feel insecure, he doesn't make you feel like you're a beautiful woman. If, if those are the ways, if those are the things that are happening with you right now, I can tell you that that is not healthy that is not a healthy situation and I always say to people that would you rather continue with this unhealthy situation because you are lonely because there's still things that you need to find out about yourself or would you rather let go of that thing and let go of that person let go of that hold that they have over you find yourself seek God glow up yeah get your career get your money up would you rather that and a great future ahead or would you rather stay with this person that is causing you all this grief and turmoil and then in 10 years from now after all the rubbish all the bs everything be like okay now i'm realizing that this is not the person for me would you want to waste your time like one thing is that you can get money you can get physical things but you can't get back time time look I'm really expressive today, yeah, I know. But time, you can't get that back. So I always ask people that question. It's like, if you know he's not treating you right, but yeah, but I love him. <laughs> no, no, no. I just feel like I'm talking to myself, old cats, cats. Leave him, he's not good enough for you. No, he don't understand you, boo. He don't get you, boo boo. He is not in your future. He can't help inspire you. He can't even, he don't even know, he can't even help you get to the next destination. You, he don't even know where he's going, okay? He don't know, he hasn't got a clue. He's still a boy himself, yeah? Again, you need to focus on you. It hurts, it burns, it's not nice. But in doing that, yeah, in finding yourself, in regaining your confidence, in reminding yourself, remind yourself of who you are. Another thing I'll say you to do, and people, I'll be like, get a, get a book, yeah? And write that, like, lie it down the middle and write pros and cons. And I want you to list all the things that he's done the things that are good, good characteristics, good qualities about him, good things that he's done for you, you know, those things. And on the other side, write down the bad qualities, write down on the, the bad things that he's done, write down the, uh, I don't know, anything you've ever heard that was negative and he, with his name in it, I don't know, write all that. And what, which one weighs up? No one's perfect, like nobody. Carl's not perfect, I'm not perfect. And I always tell them, you're not gonna find a perfect person. Not at all, but, there's certain things that you need to like you know look at and be like and if you're one thing if you're in a relationship yeah and like i said you're in a relationship because of money you're in a relationship because you're insecure you're in a relationship because of these things yeah i want you to understand that okay if you get money then what if you're in a relationship because of money then you get money then what i think i said this in a video before if you're in a relationship because you're insecure but then you get secure, then what? The novelty of the relationship is just going to... So, literally, go out, like I said. Go buy yourself a present. Remind yourself of who you are. Watch all the sermons. Watch all the self-love stuff. Watch all of those kind of things. But whatever you do, don't feel like this is the end. Never feel like it's the end. Never ever feel like it's the end because it's only the beginning yeah the beginning of your glow up okay so yeah my tips on how to get go over a breakup heartbreak and all of those things and pray i want you to know that you are amazing i want you to know that you are fearfully and wonderfully ma wonderfully made i want you to know that no relationship should should depict who you see yourself to be I want you to know that you are great all by yourself. I want you to understand that this is something you're going through and this pain that you feel right now is nothing compared to the joy that you are going to feel when you do get the person that you're supposed to actually be with. I want you to understand that prolonging it and being with someone that is horrible to you, like that doesn't make any sense. If right now you're someone that's going through domestic violence and domestic abuse, leave now. Don't wait till tomorrow. Don't wait till next week. He tells you he's gonna change. If he's gonna change, let him change by himself. 
and then if that's the case and you're supposed to get back together but not none of that we're gonna try this out together if he's hitting you that's a no-no from me yeah um just keep going keep understand keep going every day every day will be a different feeling every day may be a different emotion but you will i promise you with all that i stand for that you'll get over it okay step by step day by day glow up by glow up yeah you'll get over it don't try and replace him with another thing like a man another no, no don't do it don't do it to yourself no that's just gonna that's gonna be that triple heartache because you just it's, it's like because just because i'm not with no work on yourself work on what's happening inside here work on what's happening inside here and work on this baby no, i'm joking but yeah i love you guys um, i'm here for you guys if there's anything else you want me to talk about um in general i didn't use carl for this video because carl's never really gone through heartbreak so yeah there's no point he i don't know he's got he's and he, I, do you know what it is i should have kind of got him in the video for his point of view in terms of like how men see a breakup like if you kind of see how they think of us you would not be sad over this boy you would not okay 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 but yeah i love you guys stay locked in and anything else you want me to stay locked in and subscribe i'm not gonna have it i'm not gonna have it no you're not you're... yeah i'm gonna cross my arms again you're not going until you subscribe you owe it to me like You know, we're like this. Me and you, we like this, baby. Okay? But yeah, like, comment, subscribe. I'm only really joking, guys. Love you guys and see you again soon.